Hi, I'm Karina Louise and welcome to your mat-free yoga stretch. So starting in a seated position, you're welcome to sit on a block or a pillow if you prefer. Wherever you are, settling your eyes closed and beginning to take your awareness within. Placing your hands on tops of your knees, rounding down through the sit bones and lifting up through the crown of your head. Finding some length in the spine and then bringing a little bit of attention, softness. Hi, I'm Karina Louise and welcome to this mat free yoga stretch. Starting in a seated position, so you're welcome to sit on a block or a pillow if you prefer, but wherever you are, settling your eyes closed and beginning that process of taking the awareness within. Grounding down through the sit bones, so the bones in either button, lifting up through the crown of the head and then just Feeling length in the spine here. The chin can tuck to the chest ever so slightly, just to feel even more length through the back of the neck. And then softening the face, softening the forehead and the jaw. The back of the neck down into the shoulders. Just relaxing softening the muscles. Notice if you're holding on to tension. Just beginning that process of softening and releasing that tension. Then taking the awareness your awareness to your breath. Taking your awareness to your breath. And to start deepening and lengthening the breath. So taking a breath in through the nose, fill up the chest, fill up the belly, let the belly expand and then breathe out through the mouth. Take a breath in through the nose, fill up the chest, expand the belly, and take a breath out. <sighs> Deep breath in, fill up the chest, fill up the belly, full breath out. <sighs> Continue on, breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> Two more breath in. Breath out. One more breath in. And a breath out. Bring your hands to prayer in your heart center. Set an intention. So if you're starting your day with this practice, then setting an intention, something that you want to bring into your day. Maybe it's just a feeling. Whatever it is, take a moment to set your intention, see it in your mind's eye and feel the feeling of how it would be to have achieved that intention in this present moment. If that intention was already realised right now, how would it be? And have a wonderful practice and have a wonderful day. Now you're welcome to keep your eyes closed throughout and keep the awareness within. Or you're welcome just to open your eyes, whichever you feel more comfortable. Starting by lifting the arms to the sky, taking a breath in lengthening through the side of the body. Lift up with the fingertips, breathe in 
and then simply drawing the hands down through heart center, shoulder blades down away from the ears. Breathe in, feel like you're gathering up energy in your fingertips and draw it down into the heart center on the breath out. One more time, breathe in, lift up and lengthen. Breath out, bring the hands down through a heart center. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. This time placing the left hand down beside the left hip. You can bring the fingertips to the ground because you want lots of length through the spine. Draw the shoulder blades down away from the ears, but lengthen up through the right fingertips. Breathe in, find more length through the right side of the body. And then as you breathe out, just bowing over to your left side. Notice that right shoulder is going to want to lean forwards, draw it down away from the ears and extending through the fingertips. Breathing in and breathing out. Deep breath in, full breath out. Take one more breath, maybe find more length through the side body, bow more on the exhale, and then come back up through center, lifting the left arm high, releasing the right fingertips to the ground. Ground down through the outer edge of the left hip and lift up through the left fingertips. Take a moment to draw the shoulders down away from the ears, breathe in, and then on a breath out, bowing, extend through the left fingertips. Breathe in and breathe out. Enjoy the length. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale, go a little bit deeper perhaps if you're ready. And then lifting both arms up to the sky. Breathe in and then bring the right fingertips to the base of the spine, to behind you. Lift and lengthen up through the left fingertips, breathe in and then take the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Extend through the crown of the head, breathe in and then roll the right shoulder blade back, breathe out. Three breaths here, deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more breath in. And a breath out, twist a little bit deeper. And then come back to center. Lift and lengthen the arms up. Breathe in and then take the same movement on the other side. Left fingertips to the base of the spine, lift up through the right fingertips, breathe in, and then take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Find some length in the spine, breathe in, and then roll the left shoulder blade back. So only take the chin as far as it's comfortable to go. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, find more length, exhale, twist. Do one more breath in and a breath out. Good. Come back to center, breathe in. And then just bringing the hands back to the knees. Going to take some seated cat cow stretches. So hands on tops of the knees. Going to inhale, bring the chest bone forwards, draw the shoulder blades back. Lift the chin only as far as it's comfortable in the neck to go. And then on the breath out, tuck the tailbone round through the spine. Drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, reverse the movement. Open up the heart center. Breathe in. And breathe out. Round through the shoulders. Tuck the chin to the chest. Continue on breathing in. Opening the heart, draw the shoulder blades together. Breathe out, rounding the shoulder blades, tucking the chin to the chest. Two more, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round. 
do one more breath in open the heart and breath out round really exaggerate the movement and then come back to center and you're going to find your way forward onto your hands and your knees so just transitioning here taking the knees nice and wide apart and extending the hips backwards. So starting in a child's pose and just dropping the crown of the head towards the mat or placing a pillow under the head if it's really uncomfortable. Spread the fingers wide, draw the shoulder blades back and just allowing the weight of the seat to draw the hips back over the heels. Take three deep breaths into your belly here. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And a breath out. Inhale forward up onto your hands and the knees. So we're going to take full cat cow stretches here. So shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Starting by extending the tailbone back, drawing the shoulder blades back. Lifting the chin again if it's comfortable in the neck, breathing in, and then tucking the tailbone, rounding through the shoulders, dropping the crown of the head on a breath out. Breathe in, heart forward, heart open, deep breath, and breath out, rounding through the shoulders. Deep breath in, continue on, exaggerate the movement. Full breath out, feel the length of the spine. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And a breath out. And then come back through center and then simply come back down to sitting wherever you are but this time we're going to extend the right leg out and then bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh so if this is uncomfortable in the left knee then you can pad up underneath that knee with a pillow turn to face the right foot Inhale, lift up and lengthen through the spine. And we're going to bow forwards over the right leg. So, the most important aspect here is length of the spine. If you feel really tight in the hamstrings or in the lower back, you can bend up that right knee. Otherwise, lengthening, actually wherever you are, extending through the chest bone, drawing the shoulder blades back, breathing into the back body. So there's many different variations of this posture. I like to find as much length as I can into the spine and then just relax the head and breathe into the back of the body. Three breaths, breath in and breath out. Deep breath in, full breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, and then come back up through center. And we're gonna take the same thing on the other side. So extending out the left leg and drawing the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Flexing through that left foot. So turn the torso to face the foot before you begin. Again, you're welcome to bend through the knee. Wherever you are, lengthening through the spine, breathe in. And then bow forwards on the breath out. Again, lengthening the chest bone forward, the shoulder blades backwards, and then finding a posture, a variation that feels comfortable in your shoulders and neck. So I like to surrender my head down. Typically and often, people look at the toes to find more length in the spine, but I just find that extending the crown forward and surrendering feels really good here. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep breath in, full breath out. 
do one more inhale exhale bow a little bit more and then come back up to a seated position placing the feet together and the knees apart placing your hands on the outer edges of the feet inhale lift and lengthen the sky of the crown to the sky breathe in and then bow forwards over the legs on a breath out chest bone forward shoulder blades backwards and then just breathing here into the hips into the back body but shoulder blades are soft face is soft breathe three breaths breath in and breath out deep breath in full breath out one more inhale Exhale, bow a little bit further forwards, and then lift back up. And you can take a little extension if you like in the spine. So fingertips behind you, drawing the shoulder blades back, opening up the heart center, and then come back to center. I'm going to bring the legs together and extend the legs out in front of you. Belly draws in, lift up and lengthen, breathe in. Again, you're welcome to have a bend in the knee if you're tight in the lower back or extend through the legs. Breath out, bow forwards. Chest bone forwards, shoulder blades back, breathe in. And then just taking it to your edge. Surrendering your head if you like. And breathing into the tension and having a sense that you're letting it go on the exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Deep breath in. Full breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper and then come back up to a seated position. Bringing your legs crossed if you like. And then again. Finding some length in your spine. Breathe in, lift up and lengthen. And breathe out, hands come down through heart center. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Take a breath in. And breath out, hands come down through heart center. One more breath in, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, hands down through heart center. So with the eyes closed, taking a moment here, taking a moment here to remember something you're really grateful for. Something that you're really grateful for in your life right now, it can be really small, or it can be really big, it does not matter. Just think of something, anything you're really grateful for. Really feel it in your heart center, that gratitude, whatever it is. Maybe it's an animal you have in your life. Maybe it's a view. Maybe it's the feeling you get when you listen to a certain song, it does not matter. What it is, just feel a moment of pure gratitude for whatever that is you have in your life. Be so grateful for it. Fill yourself up with that feeling of gratitude. Any time that your day challenges you, just remember something really grateful for. Life's not so all bad after all. Mm. Have a wonderful day wherever you are, from my heart to yours, with all my love. Namaste. Mm.